Hello everyone and welcome back to the Geek Plan. It is October, that means the Geek Plan's 31 days of Halloween. But uh, So let's go ahead and get into what we're going to be unboxing today for our Halloween collectibles during our 31 days of Halloween. Now, this is it. This is from NECA. It is the Halloween 2018 figure from NECA, but it's clothed, like they got the cloth. So he's got cloth on his instead of instead of being like sculpted clothes, it's cloth clothes. Um, so it looks, I guess, more like a doll. Uh, back says it's been 40 years since Laurie Strode survived a vicious attack from Craze Killer Michael Myers on Halloween night. She now faces a terrifying showdown when Michael returns to Haddonfield, Illinois. But this time, Laurie is ready for him. So we'll see what this thing takes to look like. And yes, guys, I'm actually going to open this. And actually, this time I have my trusty knife. So let's go ahead and get this open. I want you guys to take a look at this with me. And yeah, I know I'm not on a table or anything where I can set it up, but I want to actually be able to hold it and show it to you guys. So that's the box that comes in. Like I said, it's got the um, um, peekaboo front on it. So you guys should see the figure inside the box. Some NECA figures, you have to actually open the thing to see what's inside. Uh, this is the um, one of some collectibles I will be unboxing for the month of October. So keep an eye out for more, guys. Got some cool stuff coming. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, box is empty, you can see, collectibles out. He comes in this clamshell with his weapons and stuff and the extra stuff that comes with him. Looks like he gets two things. He gets a knife and a hammer. And the back of the clamshell is actually the door that goes into the Myers house with a pumpkin down on the ground. Yeah. Hopefully we get to visit the Myers house again in the uh, Halloween Kills that comes out next year. So it's got twist ties on the back of it, of course, as you can see keep it in I'll probably cut this part out actually no it doesn't I don't know what these are oh, okay I know what they are never mind gotta cut them so a good thing I have regular scissors here too and the bottom one gets cut and the other one comes off too so basically wraps around his body with one piece I really got him in here good if you guys hear any noise in the background my dog's rolling around like a freak on the floor right now there we go oh man really it's like arms were tucked in in the plastic it's super weird Get rid of that life preserver stuff. I want to get these out without breaking them, too. Man, they really put them in there. Good. There we go. Okay. The hammer is out, so you got the hammer. It is. And the knife just kind of pops. There we go. That popped out pretty easily, actually. I'm very happy. There's the knife with blood. It's got blood on it, too, see? Yeah, check it out. There it is. Got pretty good detail on it as well, too, I think. Yeah. But yeah, again, it's got the cloth. Instead of being sculpted clothes, it's cloth. So he's got open hand for the, uh, the axe, and then he's got a... Actually, no, I think this hand gets the hammer. Let me put the stuff in his hand so he looks more, you know, deadly. Hammer, he's like, hey, I'm here to fix your sink. Well, you know. I think the knife goes in that hand, too. So, oh yeah, it does. I really like that look, actually. Oh yeah, I really like that. Yeah, see, he's got the knife right there. Yeah. Cool figure by NECA. But like I said, I like the sculpt on the mask. It looks really good, actually. That, like, I like the cloth clothes, but they make it look a little bulky. So I kind of just pull them down a little bit. I think it looks a little bit better, but yeah. It's a, it's a pretty good figure. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, so take a look. Yeah. I think I'm going to put him right here, which where you can't see. <laughs> so he stands up pretty good. Oh, his foot is actually stupid. Yeah. He stands up pretty decently. I'm sure he'll fall down during the filming, but we'll see. Uh, I might get a little uh, stand for him, like one of the NECA stands they have. You can buy, because Target has them with the the section at their neck and stuff but yeah so this is the six inch figure clothed so it's six inches like a black series figure from star wars and it's got the knife and like i said it's got the hammer with it too so i found this at a local comic shop i did some training for some fun called pops and got this because i was just looking for some comics that day but i saw this i'm like hey i'll get this for one of the collectibles for uh the 31 days of halloween so there you guys go this a short unboxing video but i did unbox i did take it out of the package you mind you but yeah yeah, I like that. That's cool. Good looking figure. So, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm sitting here holding it all, so I'm going to put him down. 
actually I'm gonna put them in right next to my computer for now. Keep an eye on the Geek Blend all month long for October. So if you guys have never seen anything from us and you like what you see here, hit the subscribe button. We do appreciate that. And hit the bell for notification so you can stay up to date on everything we do here during October, during the 31 days of Halloween here on the Geek Blend. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'm Jeff. This is the Geek Blend. And remember, if you geek about it, we speak about it. Hope you guys are having a great October. Happy Halloween. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.